Tori. Adam. And Jessica. Blake. Allison. I'm not taking him. You have to take him. You take him. That freak's not gonna be on my team. Just take him, man. I don't I'm want not him. taking him. I know, I'm, I'm not, not taking him. It's your pick. I don't care. Joshua is at the same time a very lucky and unlucky child. Lucky because he should be dead, but he's not. Unlucky because he's a rotting corpse. me that my baby was not going to live but I was determined I heard that little dry groan of his and I knew he's gonna be okay particular to this rare disease is the continuous rotting of the flesh and a strong desire to consume the internal organs of fellow human beings well, the, the darn kitty so much meat we can barely afford it we usually just buy the cheap stuff, end pieces, parts that fell on the floor. Well, anything out of date usually brings the price down as well. Well, on his birthday and things like that, we get him those little pet store mice. He really likes that. Yeah, he really likes those. Why is he a zombie? Well, that I don't know. <laughs> hey, ugly kid! What's the matter, Furthead? You ugly and deaf? Yeah, I think he's ugly and deaf. <laughs> hey, we're talking to ya! Joshua doesn't have any friends. Not that I know of, at least. After school, he just sits in front of the television. And it's not like I can force him to go outside and have fun. You know how boys are. I don't know why you can't do more things with him. Take him somewhere. Have a bonding experience with him. Play catch in the front yard. Barbara, the kid can't walk around. He certainly can't play catch. How do you even know? You've never even let him try. You've never even tried to teach him. Look at him, Barbara. Just because he's your son does not mean that he's perfect. He can't play catch. He can't go fishing. That boy can't even hold a damn conversation! One day I'd just like to drive way out into the woods and leave him there. But I know that would break Barbara's heart. One time, I almost did it. I drove all the way out into the woods. But I just couldn't do it. Sometimes, I just wish we could be a normal family. If only Joshua were normal. Never mind. I'm sorry. David? B. B is correct. Thank you, David. Can anyone tell me what answer they got for number seven? Uh, yes, Joshua. <laughs> uh, thank you, Joshua. Uh, very good. Uh, that's A, everybody. The Pinkerts have decided that it would be in Joshua's best interest to put him somewhere uh, that he'll, he'll fit in a, a social environment where his problems can be understood and he can be appreciated for who he is. So how do you feel about going away? 
Will you miss your parents? Are you going to miss going to school? Are you scared of leaving home, Joshua? Joshua? This was a very difficult decision for your father and I, Joshua. We really think it's for the best. Look, Joshua, I know you're probably not too happy about all this. I know you don't want to leave your home, but you have to trust that we know what's best. Joshua, will you come with me? Your parents can come visit you anytime you want. It's not as bad as you think it is. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call. We'll be there. Will you come with me, Joshua? Will you do that? Joshua! The, for Christ's sakes, just take the damn kid already! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, Joshua, stop! Oh, god! Oh, god. 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 O